Hey, how you doing? Uh, I didn't make a video last week. All I got was like four comics. So it really didn't make any sense. And that included the weekly uh, you know, Avengers title. So anyways, we'll do this real quick so I can try to get this all done on one video. Um, we're going to look at them exactly as they were thrown in the bag. Uh, again, a hats off to our Big Red Comics in orange. Uh, my usual spot. And anyways, we got got, uh, okay, Black Camera Age of Doom number one. Let's see where this goes. Um, in the uh, last issue of the previous series, um, the daughter of the Black Hammer acquires her father's hammer and also apparently acquires um, his powers. So we'll see where it goes from there. So we got uh, Kick-Ass number three, where we have the new uh, female Kick-Ass who was going around and... Uh, Basically, uh, robbing from the rich to, uh, if not uh, give to the poor, at least uh, pay her own bills. So good for her. Well, the, the, the rich, the, the crooked rich people, not, not the rich in general, though. It's hard to tell the difference nowadays. Okay, uh, we got Jughead, The Hunger Number 5. Really good series. Um... Again, it's one of those, um, I think they call it uh, Madhouse. Archie's Madhouse Presents. Uh, this is like the Sabrina books. Uh, this one is uh, instead of uh, uh, zombies as an afterlife with Archie, uh, we have a Jughead uh, turning into a werewolf and he's being hunted. Okay, finally, we got Infinity Countdown number two. Which I guess, uh, considering the number of Marvel books uh, I'm getting now, I should be happy. It's a monthly. I'm getting so used to the uh, the weekly Avenger title. I think it's like two or three issues left of that. And uh, this isn't too bad. I uh, just got to keep re uh, keep in mind that even though it is does involve the Infinity Stones, it has nothing to do with the upcoming uh, Infinity War uh, movie. Um, different characters... Um, uh, for the most part. Uh, okay, uh, Cave Cost, it has Interstellar Eye. This is the new series, uh, the Young uh, Animal Imprint from DC. This is uh, basically a continuation of the previous uh, you know, Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye, and now we have Cave Carson in space where he has uh, found some old friends and uh, get involved with, uh, it's like uh, some kind of alien war. All right, Future Quest presents. I'm really enjoying this series because it's all these like <coughs> two or three issues featuring the old Hanna-Barbera characters. In this case, I'm really psyched. Uh, we're getting to see the Herculoids, uh, which is a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to, uh, uh, eventually, I hope to get back to the Incredibles who uh, they really did a remake on them in um, the, the Future Quest uh, event series. And I'd like to see where they're going to go now that there's a, uh, also a female member of the team as well. Um, let's first do this. Okay, Avengers 689, this is number 15. Now, uh, according to my math, it's only supposed to be one issue left. So I'm guess we're going to see at least uh, pretty much uh, what's going on with the Game Master, the competitor, uh, I think is uh, his brother, and uh, Voyager. Uh, and uh, we'll see what's going on with there. And this is eventually, uh, after next issue, when that all wraps up, we're going to get into the, um, what you call it, uh, the new Avengers title where they're going to reboot the Avengers and finally eight page giant uh, when I was a kid eight page giant was 25 cents um, and now we're paying 7.99 Woo! Um, I don't know 
And, well, and also, when I was a kid, uh, Superman and Action Comics and most of the titles, they are pretty much just all ages. Uh, and this is rated T for Teen. So I don't know what's going on here. It's the landmark issue. Now, um, almost got into a, 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 an argument um, at the comic book shop um, with the guy behind the counter. Um, now I don't know about you, but I look at that, that I look at that cover, and it looks like sort of a cross between John Byrne and Howard Chaykin. Now, if you look at that the pose, that's 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 John Byrne. Uh, and I know this. I suppose Jim Lee and the guy at the shop got really offended. Go, well, maybe he was just trying to. Make it look like John Byrne. I said, oh, why the hell didn't have John Byrne um, do the cover? Um, anyways, what do I know? But um, Action 1000, um, it's, I think it's supposed to have uh, different pages and different stories by a number of different artists and writers. So we'll see. Um, I know this is supposed to be, a, I think, a hardcover um, collection of some kind um, special that came out this week also, but uh, I'm passing on that. Um, I didn't even see it in the shop, so they really weren't promoting it. Um, this is what they were promoting, so who knows. Anyways, that's it. That was really quick. Um, once again, thanks for owning you a Big Red Comics. And uh, I'm thinking... There's a, 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 an old a comic shop that I used to go to. Um, apparently moved a couple of years ago, and I didn't know if they hadn't been going. Um, and I might give them a try um, sometime next week, or at least when uh, for a free comic book day. Anyways, uh, that's it for me. Uh, as I said, I'm going down to... Um, San Diego this weekend. I'll be at uh, San Diego Comic Fest. If any of you fo fine folks are going to be there, look me up. I'll be running around. Uh, and that's it. Peace out. Until next week.